Hello, this is Hope from Trifold Productions with another Blender Quickie for Beginners. And in this series, this is part two of a three part series of us making this luxury home using the free add on called the building tool. Um, we've done this part, which we did in the first series, but I just wanted to uh, make some correction or a correction to this part of our building here. Remember, the building modifier it adds the uh, horizontal bars let's change the uh, viewport of this it has the horizontal bars to it but they're kind of not at the same height as the ones in the image so in order to fix that we're going to left click on it uh, let me turn on my screencast keys hopefully they don't crash okay crash blender hopefully they, they don't or it doesn't and I'm going to go in edit mo edit view by edit mode by pressing tab left click hold down shift or we can just as I said last time pivot over this area for the, the hand pan panning tool hold on down our middle mouse button and just kind of move that around and we're going to go to face it's already in face uh, select mode we're going to left click on that face, press Control L, and then we're going to pull this up. Let's press once we can get it from the front view. So it's kind of similar to what we see in our image here. Left click on that face, on that bar, Control L, select that whole bar and just kind of eyeball it, and tab out, and then we've got that. Now we're going to try to actually get a better view of what we're seeing here in our viewport and we're in EV the EV mode so let's left click on that or maybe it's on that uh, panel and turn on ambient occlusion scroll down and increase this to 4 to kind of get some more shadows going so you can see this a little bit better Let's pan over. And now we're going to go back into the object view mode there. And we're going to create the the middle part of our building here, this part. And as I said before, we're going to use the building tool to do the heavy lifting in terms of making the most of this building. But as, as I said in the first part of this, the building tool doesn't have the ability to make this kind of curved uh, top of the window frame or this curved top of the roof. So we're going to do that ourselves and it's not going to be hard to do that at all. We're going to press 1 on our keyboard, <coughs> excuse me, and press A twice is like the whole thing and then move this to the side. We want to start our new building which is this in the middle. A D select and we're going to, as I said before, Remember, file save. If I sound a little tired, it's because it's like almost midnight. And I'm at the job and I'm pretty worn out. So I just decided just to get this tutorial done because this Saturday I'm going to be pretty busy. But uh, I'm going to release this on Saturday, but I'll be you know, busy on Saturday. But let's get back to our tutorial. Now we have this uh, point here. This is where we're going to have our new b building uh, modeled. So we're going to left click to expand that, go to our building tools, click on create floor plan, let's pivot around, middle mouse button, and this is fine, it's a square which is what we need because this building here it looks like a square itself so this is what we're going to have to just use because it just looks similar to what we're seeing here. And I'm going to actually still you know look at my sticky notes to see what I need to do in terms of the uh, uh, size and the parameters and all that good stuff. A lot of button clicking. So we're going to click tab on our keyboard and left click into our uh, mesh there. We're going to click on add floors. Press 1 and let's drag this up. Scroll up on our mouse wheel, drag it up again. We're going to get rid of this uh, this uh, slab here. Let's click that. Now I want to get the dimensions right. Cause what we want is that we want our, because from this image, the uh, height of this 
uh, floor here, the same as the one to the left of it. We want to simulate that here. And from what I remember, I've saved it already. Oh, should have done that. And once again, just as a reminder, once you click on uh, your mesh, the options here from the pop-up disappears. Let's do this again. Let's just press A or Tab and let's delete that again and press create floor plan go into edit mode tab on that add floors and then we're here again so as I said we want to make this level with this and from my notes the floor height let's click on let's find out what that is our floor height you see so I'm thinking it was like 2.5 I'm thinking so we're going to press 2.5 in the uh, slot here 2.5 enter and that height looks good and the next thing we're going to do is add this door and I can't tell if this is a it does, this is like a strong reflection here so you really can't tell if it's a reflection or if this is just woodwork at the top of our door but we're just going to assume that's a reflection and we're going to just create a door here which is we're going to use the add window option because sometimes the add window option looks better than at doing the hold add door option so let's minimize this left click on that and let's click on add window and we're going to go to our pop-up menu our drop down whatever you want to call this pop-up drop down menu and we're going to do the fill type as bars. Going to get rid of the horizontal by left clicking on this arrow to turn it to zero. And we're going to increase the number of vertical bars because it looks like there's a middle door here and two side panel doors. I guess this is for decoration. So we're going to click two. Oh, sorry about that. Click on that to give us two. And we're going to increase the size. So the size will be on the x-axis. Let's, let's uh, reference our options, our notes here. And I'm thinking that the window here from the size is 3 and the height is 1.5. So let's type in that. So for the height or the width of our window from side to side, let's type in 3 and see how that looks. It's a little bit too wide. So let's go with 2. Enter 2. That looks good and our height is going to be let's say 1.5 let's put that in there 1.5 enter uh, let's see I don't want to make it a square but on the offset on the y-axis let's put in negative uh, 0.5 negative 0.5 enter okay that looks pretty good and we want it to be a little bit higher up because the uh, height of this door is a little bit higher than this one so what we're going to do is let me see let's change the height of it on the y-axis to 2 uh, I don't know if it allows us to do that and it apparently it won't but like I said before we can just manually adjust that ourselves we'll leave it as it is our next part is we want to model uh, the second floor I don't even think this is a second floor I think this is just the very this is like a high ceiling home I guess so this is just like the um, what do they call those the sun paneling or sunlight windows for the top I guess and with um, with the uh, building tool it can't actually apply that to the top of this so to speak <coughs> so what we're going to do just for it to be level with uh, the top of this part of the building we're going to add another floor so we're going to pivot left click on the top of that and add floors to that and once again let's reference our notes here and I'm going to assume let me see I don't even know if I wrote this down I'm going to assume that the height of this second floor is probably half the height of uh, the first floor so now the height is 2 let's, let's turn it our height 
original height is 2.5 from the first floor. Let's make this to enter to. It's a little bit too high, so let's make it 1.5. 1.5, enter. And that looks good. Now, as I said before, uh, in the first part of this tutorial, in part one, with the building tool, it can't really. If you want to put a window here, it's not going to be able to do it because it's calculating the position of your window based upon the first floor. And since the first floor is divided into three parts, the top floor or the floor above that is only one part, so to speak. It's not going to understand how to place the window. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's left click on that and let's click on add a window. And now we have that warning. So we'll have to manually put that window in there, which is, would be this uh, window. So let's go to the next floor which has three windows, or a big window divided into three uh, window frames with uh, two vertical panels, two vertical bars, let me say. Let's pivot, left click on our uh, top of our third or second floor there, click add, or sorry, add floor. And we're going to make this a little bit taller because it's basically twice the height of this. So we're gonna go to the pop-up menu and we're going to let's click three so that looks three enter it's a little bit too tall let's go with 2.5 2.5 enter and once again file and save now that looks okay but it still looks a little bit too tall for what I'm saying on this side so we're going to click on this again let's type in two enter and that looks better and we're going to left click in there <coughs> excuse me and click on add window and now it's added the window but once again it's gone off our previous settings which would be for down here we want to push this up so in order to do that we're going to go to the uh, offset which is Y and let's type in zero and see if that will set it back and it does we want to make it a little bit wider as it is portrayed in this uh, in the image so that'll be going on the x-axis so let's type in 2.5 enter and that looks good well we could make it a little bit wider well actually let's leave it as it is because we're going to make some more adjustments to this building as time goes on and now we're going to go to this floor which is the top of the building and we're going to pivot left click add floors and once again it's going off our previous settings for this uh, third floor now obviously that's a little bit too high so we're going to reduce the heights to let's say let's try one let's see how, how one looks one enter and that looks mm, let me see I don't know that looks okay let's make it 1.5 just give us enough room to work with to put in this top window 1.5 and enter and that looks that looks good and now what we're going to do is that we're going to model let's model this bottom window uh, frame first and then once that's done we're going to model the top one this might be a little bit trickier but we'll model this one first <coughs> now we're going to use, use the uh, some modifiers or a modifier to do this once again file and save Okay, we're going to go to uh, Shift A on our keyboard, and we're going to uh, we can actually let me see. Let's just go with plain. Click on that. We're going to pull this out and rotate it on the X axis by 90 degrees. Enter. That's R X in, in edit mode. Is this edit mode? Yeah, edit mode. Press R X 90, and let's go to our front view. And we're going to get out of edit mode and pull this to the side. Oh, sorry about that. Tab. Actually, let's press P because we want this to be its own mesh, not be part of the building. So let's press Tab, get out of edit mode. Let's cl left click on that. You can see that our pivot point has been pulled all the way back because this is the pivot point for the center of this building. And this mesh is trying to stay in that same position. We don't want that. Let's pull this forward on the Y axis. So go back and edit mode by pressing tab and then press A on your keyboard to select the whole mesh. 
and left click and drag on the Y axis to center this back on the pivot points. Tab in the mode now the pivot point is back in the middle. Press 1 on our keyboard and let's scroll up and pan down to the left. I'm going to drag this over on the X axis. Now I want to pretty much frame this set of windows here in the middle. So we're going to scale this on the X axis. And we're going to just going to eyeball this with S, X, and just move your mouse. Oh, sorry about that. X. The red part is the X axis. Once again, I'm just really tired, but I'm just going to have to push through this tutorial. So S, X. And we're going to scale it out. That was fine. I was trying to make it shorter. But let's make it longer first. Okay, about that looks good. And then on the Z axis, S, Z, and just move our mouse like that just to eyeball it and we're going to change our viewport shading mode to EV so you can see this a little bit better and we're going to move it on the X axis kind of center it and pull it up so it looks so somewhat in the middle of this building let's press 1 on our keyboard and let's pan down and pull this on the X axis again and let's pull it down on the Z axis now this, uh, let's change the color of our building so we can see this a little bit better so we can center this uh, mesh better where we want it to be and we're going to, let's see, scroll to our um, material properties panel click new and then we're going to turn this base color to let's say, I guess a dark green would work and we can see this a little bit better Okay, let's press 1 on our keyboard. Yes, you can see a little bit better. We want this mesh to be right in the middle. We can delete the color later on because we're not going to use this in our final render. But let's pivot our window here so that it sits just above our door at the bottom as it does in the image. So we're going to left click on that. One again on our keyboard and we're going to, to pull it down make it a little bit smaller too, let's press S make it smaller I'm going to position the scroll up on our mouse and pan I want to just above because it's just above this terrace here above the door I want to position it like that I want to scale it on the X axis so S X and pull it out, pull your mouse out and then we're going to, let's see, that looks about right. Okay, we're going to pull it back a little bit so it can be more, a lot closer to our building here. Okay. And we're going to make it thicker. So we're going to go into edit mode again. Press E to extrude. Left click to confirm that selection and pull it back on the, on the Y axis. And one thing you have to know when you're using the bevel, or the boolean tool, is it? Yeah, boolean tool. Is that the thicker the cutting object is, the better? Because if it's thin, it's not really going to work that well. So we want to make this as thick as you know possible. Not too thick, but thick enough. So that looks good. Tab out of edit mode. We're going to select our building, and then we're going to go to the this wrench over, which is the modifier tab. Let's left click on that. Add modifier and then we're going to go to boolean and click on our eyedropper and we're going to choose our cube here that we just made our window let's left click on that and then we're going to left click on our cube though and then pull it in about that that much is good hopefully it will actually reflect and then we're going to keep it on difference we're going to click apply and let's see if it's done its job and it has well that's good and then let's delete our our uh, cutter there yeah, let's delete it and we have our window there let's click on file and save and then we have that and we want to you know, simulate our frame here so we're going to press tab we're going to have our building selected press tab and we're, going, we're already in face select and then we're going to scroll into this corner here any corner would work 
we're going to press uh, alt and then left click it's supposed to select the whole row of faces here but apparently it's not doing that so let's hold down shift left click there shift left click shift left click and we're going to press E to extrude this down because we want to create the frame of the window E left click then scale with S and that's our window panel there press 1 again and let's scale down on the Z axis so we can see the top and bottom of the frame so scale on Z and pull it down and that's our window frame now to get the center bars of our window we're going to left click on that press control L left click control L okay then shift D I'm going to pull this up get those frames going I'm going to scale it down so it's not as thick okay the center a little bit better on the z-axis press 1 to look at it straight on and we're going we're going to let's pull this over a little bit and once again this is eyeballing it then shifty again and pull this over and that looks pretty good so yeah that's our our middle window there or skylights let me say that's what that's supposed to be the skylight so we've got that in there and now we're going to do the same the same process the same procedure for this top window that's curved let's pull this down get out of edit mode by pressing tab and we're going to press shift a on our keyboard again mesh and plane and going to rotate it on the X axis by 90 degrees by pressing RX 90 enter once again file and save I'm going to pull this up I'm going to pan to the left and we're going to make this you know much more narrow but before we do that let's let's actually get our our dimensions kind of right here because this edge of the window is smaller than this edge so press tab and go to vertex select mode A to deselect everything press C and left click on that press your right mouse button to deselect everything and left click and drag on the Z axis to pull this down and then we're going to press A C left click right click left click and drag on the X axis this tab out of edit mode and we're going to scale it on the uh, let's let's position it first we want it at the top here right above this window as you can see it's right above that one not too much above it just enough just right there let's pan this way and we're going to scale it so that as you can see the top window is the same length or width I guess as the one below it and this we want to simulate in our model so we're going to just pretty much eyeball it also let's, let's pull this forward because it's inside of the building just one go into edit mode edge select mode left click on that edge and drag left click and drag on the X axis and that takes care of that now this is a little bit too high up so to speak so we want to make it a little bit more narrow so tab out of edit mode and scale it SZ on the Z axis to make it thinner and that looks good okay and now we're going to go back into edit mode by pressing tab and we're going to go into stay in edge select and let's left click on that top uh, slanted edge and we're going to go into vertex select mode and we're going to subdivide this top part so we're going to press W subdivide it and from the pop-up menu we're going to just type in 10 enter now we're going to scroll up and we're going to pan it to kind of center our model here 
and we're going to let's say let's because we want this curved we want this curved uh, frame to happen so we're going to a deselect everything and press C on our keyboard and left click on this vertex here or vertice or vertex I don't know how you, what the singular term for that is but we're going to click on that dot let me say and then right click to, s to confirm that selection and we're going to press this little icon here which helps us to get proportional editing left click on that we're just going to drag this up now you can you can adjust the the uh, circumference of your of the influence of the proportional editing by scrolling up and down your mouse wheel so we're going to pull this up and we're going to scroll up on our mouse wheel we want a nice little curve to the top of that frame and there we have it yeah so that looks pretty good let's tab out of edit mode and let's uh, do the same thing we did with the that bottom middle window so we're going to make this a little bit thicker so it can go through the building and give us a nice clean cut through the building so we go into edit mode press A to select everything press A twice then E to extrude left click to confirm left click and drag on the oh, let's turn off the partial editing sorry about that turn it off left click and drag on the Y axis to really pull it out so tab and that is a nice thick uh, mesh there so we're going to stay with that and once again we're going to go into front view by pressing 1 and let's left click on our building go to our modifiers add modifier we're going to go to boolean left click on our eyedropper and left click on the uh, mesh we just created and click on apply and let's see what happens and there we go we have that curved element there now we're not going to get rid of the of this just yet because we want to make the roof this is where we're going to use to make the roof so let's let's drag this over to this side press one on our keyboard to get a visual of what we're looking at here and we're going to click on our building go into edit mode and go into face select and we're going to do the same thing with the bars uh, we're going to duplicate these bars and drag them up because they're right they're parallel with the ones below them so left click on that control L select everything shift D to duplicate it and then drag it up I'm going to scale it on the Z axis S Z left click on that uh, bar control L select everything and then shift D duplicate it left click and drag on the Z axis SZ is scale it and there we go we have we, we've got that part of the building as I say we want to file save first I'm just remembering I'm not remembering it as, as much as the first tutorial but I'm remembering it enough to actually do it so, so file save we've got that that frame set going on and the next thing we want to do is just make this roof here in order to do that we're going to left click on the mesh we just created to get our cut in there go into edit mode and we're going to press control or let me see let's press alt because we just, we just want to let's just press C because we just want to select the top part of the curve here so let's press C on our keyboard and we're going to left click and drag over the top okay these press R to deselect it and then see again and this time hold a uh, pressure mill mouse button to deselect that back part because we only need the top part and let's press uh, shift D duplicate that and drag it up and we're going to press P to separate that selection get out of edit mode and let's left click on that bottom mesh and just delete that now left click on that and let's see if we can make turn this into the roof for our our building here so let's press one on our keyboard obviously we can't see it but let's um, let me see let's drag it up on the z-axis and then on the x-axis and we're going to make it long to fit the length of this building so it's going to top view by pressing 7 <laughs> 
and we're going to stretch it out first on the x-axis so press SX on your keyboard and stretch this out let's see make sure it looks good okay it looks good 7 again and we're going to stretch it out on over our building by pressing S Y and just eyeball it's pretty much just drag it just drag your mouse till it goes covers as much of the building as possible and that looks good also now we want to make it thicker so I'm going to go to edit mode by pressing tab and let's press A on our keyboard to select that whole thing now let's go into front view by pressing 1 and the next thing we're going to do is, is uh, extrude it on the Z axis so press E and then left click to confirm it and then S Z oh sorry about that let's just drag it up is fatigue that's just kind of making me think kind of weird at this point in time but uh, I'm just gonna maintain and just uh, focus so press uh, drag it up on the z-axis by left clicking and dragging on the z-axis and we have that thickness that we're looking for and I really can't tell how thick this is because it blends into the background but that's fine and all we have to do is pull this over uh, go get out of edit mode by pressing tab and pull this over our building like this and you have to remember we're, we're doing this for the sake of just staging it and you know you have to just kind of fill it with it just to get it into the right position let's pull this back okay and just to fix this little part that's poking out just left click on your building go into edit mode press edge select click on that edge and just drag it down and it disappears tab and then you're finished so file let's click file and save so we've got that part done and let's let's get rid of this this uh, color because it's kind of we just did that just for the sake of modeling but this is not what we're going to use in the final final render so let's scroll down to our materials tab here and let's click on minus and we've got that part done and then that's that so we have the middle part done the sorry the left part done and the middle part done for the second part of this tutorial and now we're going to model the next third part of the tutorial we're going to model the uh, last half of this building and that's going to be it for uh, the second part and I think I've missed I missed this window on this side but let's just try to model that part because that part of the window is supposed to be on this side of the building right here so this is the same process just pressed shift A and keyboard mesh plane let's pull this out RX 90 enter and we're going to have to do do it to this side of it but let's just use this side as a reference so that way we can just kind of uh, once we've modeled the shape just bowling it over to this side so we're going to press uh, let me see R Z 90 to flip it around press it on our keyboard to see it from the side view let's pull it up make sure we get the dimensions right um, let me see. I want to make sure it's the same size as this because this is what has been reflected in this part of the building. So let's uh, pull this to the front. Then R Z minus 90. One on our keyboard. Let's pull this over. Let's kind of eyeball it. Pull that back. And let's go into. Uh, x-ray mode by pressing Z. Well, wow, that's kind of weird. It didn't go to x-ray mode at all. Let's press pressing Z. <laughs> press 1 again. And we're going to make it the height of uh, these bars here. So S, Z on our keyboard. Scale it down. Let's pull this down a little bit. And that looks pretty good. S, Z a little bit more. Okay. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's about the same width also. That's good. Let's get out, of, get out of X ray mode. And we're going to go into edit mode again, tab, 
E to extrude and get out on the Z or the Y axis, pull it back, left click and drag on the Y axis. Got out of edit mode and let's pull it over to that side. And then R Z 90. And let's pivot around and let's make sure we have it where we want it to be, which is right here. See if we can center this a little bit better. And this, I think this side might be a little bit wider than it, or longer than it, it is, than it is wide. So let's scale it on the Y axis by pressing S, oh sorry about that, S, Y on the, scale on the Y axis. Let's pull it out a little bit more. Let's kind of eyeball it to center it. And that looks good. And the reason why we're doing it like this is because, like I said before, from the camera angle, we're just uh, staging it to get hit or get angled from the front of the building. So the side part is not really a big deal. So we just want to kind of simulate what we're seeing in this model here from the side. As I mentioned before, let's make sure that our cutting material or cutting mesh is the right width. And we're going to select our building. Add, oh, sorry about that. Let's get out of that. Go to the wrench tool, add modifier. And we're going to go to the Boolean tool. Let's left click on that. Left click on our eyedropper. Left click on that mesh and click apply. And let's see what it's done. And it's done it. Sometimes the Boolean modifier doesn't work, sometimes it doesn't, but tonight it's working, which is great. Press delete on our keyboard to delete the cutter. And we're going to put some bars in here. So we're going to left click on that. So our, our building is already selected. So let's tab out, tab into edit mode. Make sure we're on face select. Left click on that bar. And then we're going to press Shift D, or Control O to actually select everything, then Shift D to duplicate it and drag it out on the Y axis. And then we're going to rotate it on the Z axis by pressing R, Z, 90. All right, I'm going to pull that over. And I think with the, from what I've seen now with the uh, building tool, it doesn't create a whole bar, it just creates the bar the part of the bar that we can see which is actually pretty efficient that way it saves on calculating with the mesh but let's rotate this around uh, by 180 degrees so let's press R Z 180 enter and then we have that turned around fully let's drag it on the X axis to fit inside our window here let's drag it, we're going to eyeball this too let's drag it over I don't even know how many bars are over there, but we're just going to assume that there are two. And then let's press Shift D again to duplicate that and drag this over. Eyeball it. And that looks pretty good. Let's pull them both up. Well, let's pull this one up a little bit, or scale it actually. Scale it on the Z axis. Left click on the second one. Control L. S Z on the Z axis. And there we go. And once again, file, save. And let's get up edit mode by pressing tab in there. We have this part of the building fully, uh, fully done. And then part three will modify this door here. Because as you can see from at the bottom parts of the door, it's got a higher or taller piece of wood for the framework than we have in our uh, model but yeah that's we'll model that part and also the third part of the building with the lattice but that's today's uh, blender quickie for beginners I'm glad we're able to get through this and actually get it done and once again thank you guys who have subscribed in the past and those of you who are subscribing now really appreciate you guys and I will see you guys on the next one once again file Save and adios.